Hello everyone, my name is Lois Feoff, better known as Loji on the internet, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw hair. I'm going to use Paint Tool Side 2 for this, but you can really use any type of art program you want, and I'm going to use the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro. I'm very excited about this, and I will tell you my thoughts about this display later on. Alright, so here we have our simple head. And here is the forehead. This is something we always have to keep in mind when drawing. So let's first start with the bangs. And what I always do is first a simple shape and then we're gonna add detail. So here we have a simple triangle shape. Here's our triangle. We're gonna add that. And now we're gonna add some hairs uh, from the forehead. Now, this is not a blunt line, these are just small lines to indicate the hair is starting there. Like so. Now here we have a triangle again. Um, we're gonna add some lines, some smaller, thinner lines to these. You can use a smaller brush or just simply don't press as hard with your pen. I always like to add a one or two lines to triangles like these and now we're gonna add loose strands to the hair you can see i do one here in front here you go we're gonna re some of that and now we're gonna do one on the other side remember that these strands always follow the overall shape in this case it's sort of a triangle we're gonna do one here again. And just simply erase the part so it connects with one another. Adding loose strands of hair can make the hair a lot more lively and look a lot more like hair. Now we're going to do the exact same things on the other side. It's Again, pretty simple. First, an overall shape. I did some kind of triangle again. We're going to add some hair. And when there's the overall shape, we're going to add thinner lines and then strands around it. These three steps always come back in every single hair piece I make. And we're going to add the same technique on the other parts of the hair in just a few moments. Here we have our bangs all done. And you can see it always follows the forehead. Always keep the forehead in mind also when we are going to do the back of the head. Now we're going to do the part. I'm going to do a simple middle part but of course you can put this line, the part, anywhere you like. We're putting it here and we're going to make two buns, two ponytails more. So let's first do this side and we're going to draw where we want our ponytail to go to. This is very important because every single hair piece goes from the part over to the ponytail. So we have our first line and it goes from the forehead to the ponytail and then the other one goes from the part to the ponytail. Now I want to add one or two thicker lines, just as thick as I normally do the line art, like this. Again, from the part to the ponytail and one underneath. Erase a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with thinner lines. I like to connect some lines together to make small triangles to indicate a little bit more that the hair is overlapping with one another. And again, as you can see, they're all going from the part or the forehead over to the ponytail. And we're going to repeat the same steps to the other side. Just small lines from the ponytail to the part. 
adding a thinner line for a little bit more detail and again following the same curve from the part to the ponytail now we're going to make two ponytails actually two braids and braids are actually pretty simple it's just this shape over and over again if we're just going to do one side it's kind of a small rounded corner and as you go down you make those corners a little bit smaller now we're going to add them to the other side and now we're going to make the same corner in the middle and underneath middle underneath 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 again and in the middle maybe add a little bit here and there your lines never have to be perfect in one go you can just go back and adjust a little bit of the lines now that we have our overall shape we are again going to add smaller thinner lines and i'm following the same curved corner like shape some of them have two lines some of them have one all to add a little bit more detail there you go and now we're going to do the top and the same with every single hair piece it comes from somewhere so this piece simply comes from the ponytail so instead of going up we're connecting it to the ponytail erase that a little bit and add a small thinner line now that we have our basic shape and the detailed lines we're going to add loose strands so let's do one here and just a small one just to indicate that hair is not perfect and it actually gives like i said before more life to your hair now i always like to add just a few of them but if the hair is more messy the character has just messy your hair feel free to add more now we're adding a small elastic underneath to keep the braid all together and we're going to do some loose hair underneath now loose hair mostly just goes down but there's always a point they'll go to in this case it's in the middle so from uh, both left and right they're going to the same point which is the middle i'm again adding smaller details smaller lines for more detail and there you have it now that we have a first braid let's add that to the other side here you go now we have two braids now the only thing left to do is the hairs in the neck. Remember, hair always ends somewhere in your neck. So if you have an updo, you can easily see the hair in your neck. We're going to do the same as we did with the bangs. Is that we're not going to do a blunt line, but we're going to do smaller lines. So the hair smoothly goes from skin to hair. And now she's ready to be colored in. Now if you have your character all colored in and the hair all shaded and everything, I always like to go with the line art brush and add loose strands of hair. And there you have it. Or hair 
totally done. You can easily add these steps to any other kind of hair, uh, like I repeated multiple times before. First the basic shape, then add smaller thinner lines and then loose hair strands around it following the basic shape. Like I mentioned before, I was using the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro. It's a 24 inch display tablet and I always thought big displays were necessary, but this tablet absolutely changed my mind. I really loved working on it. The colors are amazing. It feels great to see your own art displayed on such a vibrant big display. And like you saw in the video, I use the shortcuts a lot and this tablet has 20 shortcuts plus two red dial wheels. Amazing. The pressure sensitivity is something I enjoyed a lot as well. When working with thin line art like me, I love that I can use the pressure sensitivity instead of working with different sizes of brushes. I really encourage you to look up more information about this tablet as I really enjoyed working with it. You can find the tablet and the other products on the official XP Pen website. Link is on screen now. I want to thank XP Pen for letting me explain my way of drawing hair to you. And I want to thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you so much.